Choosing the right website builder can be crucial for building a beautiful, sleek, and amazingly high converting website on the internet. And with so many different tools to choose from, it can feel overwhelming to say the least. In this video, however, we're going to pick two of the most popular website building tools and pit them against each other on their features, price, and ease of use. By doing this, we'll have a clear idea by the end of this video, which of these two competitors is the best. And you yourself will have a clear idea of which of these is right for you in your own website building journey. This video will cover everything you need to know about Webflow versus Elementor, especially super important considerations like their price points, ease of use, their overall design, and the support that you have when it comes to designing a website. If you guys want to get started with either of these and get amazing discounts in the process, make sure you use the links down in the description of this YouTube video. Other than that though, let's talk about the first website design tool, which is Webflow. One of the core tenets of Webflow is its overall freedom that you have in your design process. The visual canvas that they provide you allows you to create a super complex and dynamic workflow to actually build a beautiful looking website that looks almost custom coded. The Webflow designer itself utilizes a drag and drop technology like most website builders do nowadays, and it's super intuitive and easy to utilize. One of the main draws of Webflow is Webflow's CMS editor, which essentially allows you to have a full range of customized tools on your website. You can put things like custom code snippets and even do drag and drop editing on the fly in a pinch. One of the big benefits of Webflow is its ultra fast load times. More specifically, it does a lot of its hosting on Amazon Web Services. If you guys aren't familiar with Amazon Web Services, it's one of the most popular web hosting platforms on the internet. Not only that, but it's also by the mega corporation Amazon, which has a ton of infrastructure to support this. What this all means for you and your Webflow website is essentially faster load times and of course, ultra reliable performance. This entire infrastructure is built on scalability, which is super helpful too as you grow your website, especially as you get more and more users that are visiting it every single day. This can be super helpful for obviously adding new features to your website and continuing it to grow. If you're trying to do something like e-commerce and sell products on your Webflow website, Webflow has you fully covered. They have a full range of e-commerce plugins and integrations inside of their website editor, meaning that you don't have to add any third-party plugins to actually get started selling things. They have full product and inventory management tools and a host of other e-commerce metrics tools that you can use to actually analyze what's going on in your website in a snapshot. Webflow also has a host of advanced animation software, which means that you can basically animate certain things on your your website to have a dynamic feel and look to them when people are interacting with them, giving you that much more of a premium sleek feel to your overall website. Now that we've covered Webflow's features, let's actually talk about how to get started with them and how to get the best price possible when you're signing up. The first thing you want to do is hit the link down in the description. And you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. This is Webflow's initial page that you'll be taken to whenever you're trying to get started with creating an account. The first thing you want to do is head up to the top right here and click the get started. It's free button. Once you've clicked that button, you'll then be taken to this page where you can enter in your work email address and any other information. After we've entered in our work email address, we'll hit the continue button. We'll then be asked to create a short password. Once we've created a short password, we'll then hit the create account button. After we've hit the create an account button, we'll then be brought to this page where it'll ask for our first and our last name. Once we fill those two things out, we then can hit the continue button. It'll then ask us who we want to build websites for. For the sake of this video, I'm going to say that I'm going to build the website for myself. I'm then going to go and hit the continue button. It'll then ask us if we're a student. I'll then say no to this. It'll then ask us what type of site we're looking to build today. We can either build a business site, an e-commerce site, a portfolio, a blog, or another type of website. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and build a portfolio. I'm then going to hit the continue button. Lastly, it'll ask us if we're interested in hiring someone to help us build our website today. You can do this if you're looking to have actual professional help from website builders who have done this for tons of tons of years. But if you're interested in just getting started as soon as possible and building it all yourself, you can just hit the no button here. And once we've done all that, we then hit the finish button. Once you've done all of that, you'll then be taken to this page where you can hit the new site button to start creating your website. We can then either choose from a blank site, a template, or the tutorial. For the sake of this video, I'm going to start with a template because that's the easiest way to get started. We then can either choose from the velocity option, the business starter option, store option, momentum option, and a host of different templates. I'm going to go ahead and choose the business starter option because I think that this option suits my needs the best. Once I've selected that, I then can name this quick website and hit create site. It'll then take a few seconds to actually load the site up and create it, but once you do, you'll have this website website at your disposal. Now to edit this website, it's as simple as clicking and double clicking into these boxes and changing things up as you want them. For instance, I can change the title of this website to anything I want, like Kyle is the best. And of course, with any of these other elements, they're as easy as double clicking on them to edit them. And if you want to move them around, you can also drag and drop as we mentioned before. Now that we talked about how to actually get started with Webflow, let's talk about the pricing options that they have. If we're looking at the overall starter plan, we're looking at $0 a month. This is the completely free option that actually doesn't require 
require you to spend any money to start building websites on Webflow. Keep in mind though, you will be restricted from quite a few features that Webflow makes available to you. And most of these features are super handy and very useful. As you can see, you only get one user max on the starter plan. You get to add unlimited paid hosted sites and you only get two Webflow IO staging sites, two agency or freelancer guests and two free commenters. Now, if you want even more access to more features, you want to consider something like the core plan or the growth plan. The core plan is about $19 a month while the growth plan is about $49 a month. Now, both of these plans offer more users, more seats and more options that you can utilize when it comes to building your website. Also, just to mention really quickly, we are currently viewing this on the build yearly option. What this means is that instead of on a monthly basis, you'll be charged on a yearly basis and you'll be able to save a little bit of money on each of these plans. We're actually saving about 33% with the yearly billing option. If we want to look at the monthly option, we can toggle this and see that the option for the monthly payments are a little bit higher. The core plan now at $28 a month and the growth plan at about $60 a month. This is why we always recommend going with the yearly plan because most people are going to run their websites for more than one year and obviously you're saving quite a bit of money in the process. Now that's pretty much everything you need to know about Webflow, but let's get into its direct competitor, Elementor. Elementor is also a website building tool and it's very easy and incredibly comprehensive. One of the first notable features about Elementor is its very steep learning curve. It doesn't have an innately intuitive interface like Webflow does. Because of this, a lot of new website designers might find some issues with actually utilizing Elementor's website and its overall interface in the first place. With Elementor, you're essentially getting a ton more features than you would with Webflow. Not only are you getting access to full drag and drop editing capabilities and custom code injects, but you're also getting a full suite of e-commerce features, photography and portfolio blog features, and even the ability to create landing pages and build entire appointment setting websites. Now, the reason why it's a little bit harder to use is because Elementor works on top of the WordPress ecosystem. If you guys aren't familiar with WordPress, WordPress is an incredibly popular website design service and also web hosting service. That being said, though, WordPress assumes that you already have quite a bit of experience under your belt when it comes to actually designing websites in the first place. Now that we've talked a little bit about Elementor's features, let's show you guys how to actually get started with Elementor in the first place. Just like Webflow, you're going to want to head down to the description of this YouTube video and click the link for Elementor. You should be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see, this is the number one WordPress website builder. It's simple, fast, and intuitive. We'll take a look at its features and give you guys an inside look how this software actually looks on the inside. One of the first things you want to do after you hit that link is hit the buy now option or the view plans option. Before we hit the buy now option, let's take a look at some of the plans that they offer. As you can see, these are the main plans that Elementor offers. One of the things to consider here is that there is currently a sale going on for their birthday sale, so these numbers may change. Also remember that these are each billed yearly, so you are saving a little bit of money. Now, the first thing we'll cover is the essential plan, which is $49 a year. Normally, this is $59 a year. There's also the advanced plan, which is $89 a year, which is normally $99 a year. Then there's the expert plan, which is $100 $149 a year, which is normally $199, and the agency plan for the massive institutions or agencies that are going to be $279 a year, and it's $399 normally. Now, as far as the overall features that you get for each of these plans, on the most basic essential plan, you're getting one site, premium support, 50 pro widgets, a theme builder, dynamic content, and the form builder. With the advanced plan, you're getting everything you get in the essential plan, plus a few new features. You're getting things like a pop-up builder, custom code and CSS, e-commerce features and collaborative notes. With the expert feature, you're getting everything you got before, plus up to 25 new sites and also all of the same features that we got in the original. And with the agency option, we're getting up to a thousand sites, which is really good if you are an agency that does web design and all the other features that we mentioned earlier. Now for me and my personal needs, the probably the best plan that I can go with is either the advanced plan or the essential plan. If you're a large business who designs a lot of websites and wants to have a lot of websites, I definitely would recommend going with the expert plan. We'll start off here though with the essential plan and hit the buy now button. Once we hit the buy now button, we'll then be taken to the checkout page. On the checkout page, we can enter in all of our necessary details and information, things like our email, password, and also confirm our plan. Once we've created our quick account with an email and a password, we'll then confirm our plan with our billing info. This is basically just the info on your credit card. You guys are probably all familiar with how to utilize this. Once you've entered in all of those details, you'll then hit the pay now button and you'll get full access to Elementor and all of its features. Now, just to summarize everything and finally compare these two against each other, it seems that Webflow is is the better option. Considering the fact that Webflow has quite a few more features that are more useful to website designers, plus you get access to a free trial where you don't have to pay any money to start using it. And it's also really intuitive and easy to use with our drag and drop editor. I just feel like Webflow is easier to use if you're a complete beginner. If you're a larger agency that's creating a bunch of different websites for a bunch of different customers, you could check 
out Elementor as a potential competitor. They do have a lot of the same features that Webflow offers with a little bit less intuitive options. Because of this, it really depends on where you're at in your personal website building journey with which one you end up going with. If you guys wanna get started with either of these website builders, check out the links down in the description to get the best deal possible. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe so you never miss any of our new videos. Plus, keep in mind that all of the links down in the description are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission from each of those signups. So thank you in advance for supporting this channel and of course, allowing us to make future videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next video.